morning Aries, this is a very early morning read, I'm just going to get straight into your reading guys. Alright, what does your twin flame want to tell you? I know Aries, we've been waiting on our twin flames for a hell of a long time, there's been no movement, and I think you're about to go ghost on your twin. So what does your twin flame want to tell you? Okay, they're saying you will be together again. I know I was a distraction from your pain. I feel you even though we are apart. I feel you leaving me behind. See, this is the energy, Aries. You are literally ready to drop your twin flame, leave their ass in the dust, because you've had enough of waiting. Some of you have been waiting years for this person to actually make a decision. The last thing they're saying is, oh, I wish I could take back my words. Okay. Right, so, Aries, let's find out what's going on with your twin flame. What is the current energy of Aries twin flame? What's the current energy? Six of pentacles, wanting an equal give and take. And guys, if you find this video on K Post, please report it immediately because it is not, well, because it's stolen basically. Okay, if you're twin flame, they want an equal give and take. They really do feel you, you're going to reject them. Yep, you're going to get communication from your twin flame because they're in this energy of shit. Aries is about to leave me behind. They're in the Four of Cups energy. They, they want to give you an equal give and take. You're going to get communication. Uh, can I find the Eight of Wands? What do they want to say? <laughs> the communication you're going to get, or the fast movement, is that they're manifesting you. They see you, you're in this Queen of Swords. This is you, Aries, and the Queen of Swords, ready to drop it, ready to walk away from this guy, or this woman, this twin flame. They're manifesting. They're probably using um, magic to try and keep you, or they'll use communication to try and keep you to breadcrumb you, because the Six of Pentacles can also mean breadcrumbing. They fear they're losing you, and with good reason. One thing... I will have to say this being an Aries myself, but I have so many Earth placements and I have three Libra placements, which are all about justice, the law and all of that. Um, but if you keep an Aries waiting too long, they literally are just going to move on uh, without a care in the world. And uh, in my situation, because I have Aquarius South Node, I can literally just cut someone off in an instant and not give a shit about it. So, Alright, how does your twin flame currently feel about you? Four of Wands in the reverse, yeah. They're fearing you are leaving them behind. That you don't want to do this anymore because it's stuck and stagnant. Oh, and look. What's there to heal? You've had enough time to heal. Get over it. Whatever this is. I mean, you've got the Three of Swords here. There could have been a third party in the past and there's one sword left down there waiting to be used. That one sword could be you walking away, Aries. You're ready to call quits on this whole thing. Well, this is them. They're ready to, um, they've possibly put you in a third party in the past, because this is actually their energy. And they've just got one more sword, waiting to stab you one last time. I'll tell you what resonates, guys. Alright, what action will Aries Twin Flame take towards them? What action will they take towards Aries? Absolutely fucking nothing. No, they're waiting for their ships to come in. They're waiting for different options. They're still weighing out the options. They're not going to get much luck with the seven of pentacles in the reverse. If they're waiting for their ships to come in, or if they're waiting on you, they're not going to have much luck with you, Aries, with this in the reverse. That's the action. What is the three of wands? What are they waiting for? Oh, wow. Yeah, Aries, they're waiting for you to leave them out in the cold. But also, <laughs> do it this way. This is how it dropped out, the Five of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, but they're going to fight for you. When you least expect it, they're going to come in and fight for this connection. Because they, they're waiting for you to leave them out in the cold. This is like a very sick plan of theirs. I've just heard it's a very sick plan. 
wait for you to literally, you know, be out the door, ready to pack your shit and go, you know, metaphorically, and then they're going to come in, they're going to fight for it. They might even blame you for some things, for the Father of Swords being here. That's conflict. That's wanting to win at all costs. Crap by the Father of the Swords. Yeah. Because they know they're losing the soulmate connection, this twin flame connection. They're going to rush in. Crap by the Wheel of Fortune. The Queen of Swords. Again. Or they could be dealing with the Gemini Libra Aquarius. Okay, Michael says just do that. Do it. Okay. Alright, is there a third party involved with Aries Twin Flame? Is there a third party involved with Aries Twin Flame? Is there someone else in the way? Give me more on this, please. How about the Page of Swords? No, there's no one else there. No, at the moment, your Twin Flame is spying heavily on you, trying to gather information. I see your single and abundant Aries. <clears throat> Give me more on this. Was there a third party in the past? Was there a third party in the past? Knight of Swords. Fast movement. Very quick movement. Was there a third party in the past? Okay, Michael says put that up in that way. Yeah. Oh yeah, there definitely was a third party, fourth party, fifth party, sixth party. This person, your twin flame had options. There is competition with the five of wands, with the seven of cups, they had options. And what they, yeah, because the same cards are coming out now. The magician, the three, three of wands. Yeah. Before they come to you, Aries, before you give up on them, they are just making sure that there is no one else out there suitable for them, so that's why they're juggling. Uh, what is the likely um, future outcome? What is the likely future outcome between Aries and their twin flame? Ten of Swords, Justice and the King of Cups. This can go so many ways. Moon, they're still going to hide their feelings, hide what they're doing from you. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Ten of Swords. This is either the everything is fine or they're going to continuously stab you in the back, betray you constantly. You could be dealing with the Libra, with the Justice here. This could end up in court for some of you. But you've got the King of Cups as the outcome. This is emotional love. Okay, so this person does love you. This is emotional love. Why the hell are they being secretive about this? What is the moon? They're trying to find the strength and the courage, Aries. What is the Ten of Swords? What is this betrayal about? King of Pentacles. They're in a commitment with someone already. Or they were in the past, and now they could have broken up with that person because now they're a wounded warrior. The King of Pentacles is a spouse. Could have been a same sex relationship, we've got two kings out here. It doesn't have to be, let me tell you what resonates. What is justice? The Knight of Pentacles, justice. But in our eyes, that's going far too slow. They're probably thinking. Oh, you know, Aries can wait a little bit longer. I've had to get my shit together first. They can wait a bit longer. But no, 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 no. Just making an Aries wait a month is too long. Some Aries have been waiting literally over a year, two years, three years for their twin flame to make up their fucking mind because there was a third party involved. And Aries don't do third parties. It's like, drop the third party or just leave us the fuck alone. Emperor at the bottom of the deck, yeah, this is you Aries, you're in this bossed up mode, yeah. Queen of Pentacles, but you're also loving, kind, nurturing, caring. Oh, and here it is. We have now got too many court cards out here. There's too many people involved here. So what we've got here? 
someone was married, possibly to a Queen of Pentacles, because we've got the King and the Queen of Pentacles out there, that's a marriage. The Emperor is you, Aries. It's King of Cups, could be you Twin Flame, who's actually in love with you. Then we've got a baby mother out here. Too many people are involved in this situation. Yeah, Five of Cups. Now your Twin Flame is in regret. The lovers, they could have been dealing with a Gemini or a choice between many. And the burdens, the burdens, they just want their ton of cups. And they feel they're getting heavily judged by this. Again, this could be a court situation. And here, this is you Aries, Queen of Wands. You're single, you're abundant, you're beautiful, you're handsome. You know, you're in this energy of, you can do it on your own. You really don't need anyone. You're a star, Aries. Yeah, you're going to find yourself balanced. While your twin flame is still contemplating a third party with their past energy. Six of cups, three of cups. The devil, look, look at this, devil, bottom of the deck. They're going to succumb to temptation with an ex, third party. Shocking reading, really is, Aries. Alright, let's do you versus all signs, because I've got to get get shit done. Right, Aries dealing with another Aries, if it, that's our twin flame. <clears throat> dealing with another Aries, they are holding back, they are hiding something from you, clarify the High Priestess. Also could be getting tarot readings on you. They're hiding the family from you, move on. Right, if you're dealing with a Taurus. The Taurus Say, give me one more for this. Give me one more. Oh, God's sake. Right, if you're dealing with the, uh, with the Taurus, they've got a Queen of Cups and a Queen of Wands. Alright, they've got two people on the go. Right, if you're dealing with a Gemini, wow, that flew. Dealing with a Gemini. Gemini wants forward movement with you. They are no longer up in their head about it. They've made a decision. Uh, they're actually sleeping at night. You are their wish fulfillment. Yep, they've gone in to reflect. They're going to offer you this new beginning. And look, definitely dealing with the Gemini. Wanting the new beginning. Wanting to move forward with you. King of Swords. And they're coming at you honestly. King of Swords is honest, it's true. But it is also uh, in and out, kind of cold. Cold energy. Not really showing emotions. But they're coming at you truthful. There may have been toxicness in the past. Could have betrayed you with a third party. Somebody from their past that they had a family with. Alright. Dealing with a cancer. You're dealing with a cancer. Cancer is heartbroken over you, Aries. They want to communicate with you. About a commitment. They feel a bit stuck and stagnant at the moment. They're going to win at all costs because you are their soulmate. Yep, they want to move forward. Fear they're losing you. Fear you're just going to cut them off. They want to plant seeds with you. Take that leap of faith. And definitely uh, want a passionate new beginning. But they're overthinking the situation. And they could be a bit in and out. They want to collaborate with someone. But this is going to end up in a towel moment. And one of you walking away. Wow. Uh, if you're dealing with a Leo. Yeah, who's dealing with a Leo. Leo is healing from a breakup. One more. They feel, uh, yeah. The Leo is actually dealing from a uh, from a breakup. They need time to heal from this. They got betrayed in the past. Yeah, by someone who had options, put them in competition. Now they're single. Right, if you're dealing with a Virgo. Dealing with a Virgo. Virgo wants to plant seeds with you. Oh, yeah. Virgo definitely wants to plant seeds with you. There could be an entrepreneur, but look, you've got your card coming out. Right, if you're dealing with Libra. Libra wants to have a stable new beginning. Wait. They're being quite selfish at the moment. You've got two aces out here. They're going in to reflect. This could be kind of a love-hate relationship. But you've got the two aces out here when it comes to a Libra. 
uh, but they're not doing anything about it. Nine of Cups in the reverse. They could be drinking heavily as well. Right, feeling with a Scorpio. Ugh, they're, they could be working really hard right now, but they are extremely guarded. Can't find the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, if you're dealing uh, with a Scorpio, they could be dealing with a Narcissist. King of Swords in the reverse, that's my Narcissist card. Um, no wonder they're defensive. Okay, I'm leaving that there. I'm not getting into Narcissist energy. Okay, dealing with a Sagittarius. They are getting over a third party situation with the Queen of Wands. Right, if you're dealing with the Capricorn, dealing with Capricorn, they want justice after being a missed opportunity or being left out in the cold. Alright, if you're dealing with an Aquarius, dealing with an Aquarius, uh, they could possibly want commitment with you, but they're holding back. Or they're holding on to you for their life. Or they're already in a commitment with somebody else. And uh, they're being held back by a money situation. Could be child support. Alright, if you're dealing with... Hang on, the Pisces. Dealing with the Pisces. No. No, no, no. Right, if you're dealing with the Pisces, they're in this devil energy. Uh, they could be obsessed about collaborating with you. Or it could be the fact that they're um, quite toxic and they want a third party, or they're still dealing with some, you know, they're still dealing with the third party uh, if they succumb to temptation. This is gambling, this is addictions. Either way, they're obsessing about collaboration. Alright, guys, I'm done.